Hey, this is Josh Deltner, and today we're going to be talking about the Nuxt link component. What it is is an anchor that gets rendered on the page that allows your users to navigate across your app. It's very similar to the router link from View Router. The difference is that Nuxt link actually extends that and adds new features. One of those features is called prefetching, and we're going to talk about it today. Prefetching allows your browser to load pages that are coming up soon, and it uses the browser's intersection observer to detect when those links are rendered on the page. Let's go look at some code. Basically, you have two options, prefetch or no prefetch. And those are shown here. And just recently, you can actually bind to it as well. Prefetching is enabled by default, uh, but you can actually turn it off if you like. Uh, using prefetch links equal to false in the router section of your Nux config file. Let's see how this works. So I'm going to refresh the page, and the one link that we marked as prefetch loads right away. Now I'm going to slow down the browser a little bit so that we can see the rest of them loading. As expected, uh, the next two are marked as no prefetch, so they're not loaded. Next, I used a vshow just to see what would happen. And sure enough, the corresponding page is loaded. And the same thing with the VF. Now I stuck a link at the very bottom here, just so you can see uh, how it loads when you scroll as well. And there it is, page six. Now what's interesting is that page six actually contains a lazy loaded component. You see that is not loaded. It's just the page. Now you may be wondering, why wouldn't you want to prefetch everything? In some applications, if you have too much JavaScript on the first hit, it could affect your performance, especially your interactivity. I recommend taking a look at your own graphs to see how prefetching can benefit you. That's all for now. Subscribe to this channel for more View, Nuxt, and performance tips.